What am I doing? Oh my god! What's up everybody? I'm Kelsey and I love colorful things. So we're back once again for another episode of the Not So Very Challenge. This week we are engaged. I haven't decided whether or not we're gonna get married in this episode. You know, it's Amethyst. She's a little bit impulsive. Who knows what she's gonna get up to? I certainly don't. But this week, hopefully we are getting our promotion. I don't know how we're gonna do that because we have to treat three patients. And so far they've let us treat zero patients. But hopefully Hopefully with a little bit of patience, we'll get there. We're all here. We pretty much had a perfect winter fest, which I love, but everyone's pretty exhausted. Amethyst is feeling super duper flirty. The Christmas spirit is rife. It is happening. Theo is talking with people. Amethyst Winterfest was successful. Theo's was awful? I don't know how it was awful. He did the same thing she did. I think it's just because we weren't controlling him at the time. It was probably a glitch. I do want to kind of nosy into his settings, see his relationship. So he's actually pretty good friends with Mai and uh, with Genevieve and with Tetsu. Guy that keeps freaking stalking us. And Joey, obviously his old roommate, but there's really not many other people, which I love. Glad to know he doesn't have any old flames or anything. Does he have any kids? No kids. Excellent, excellent. You never know. I've been duped before. I'm going to tell Genevieve I would like her to be a part of my wedding. And then I think she's gonna ask her to be the best person at the wedding because it's her best friend. Asked to be Sim of Honor. Yeah, I think she should be a Sim of Honor and then I think Skylar will marry them. She's like enthusing about this wedding. Oh my gosh, she's so excited for her about getting married. She's like, I would love to be your maid of honor. Oh my gosh, thank you for asking me, Amethyst. That is so cute, I love it. That was so cute, oh my gosh. How's Catberry? Catberry's chilling. Go to sleep in the bed. What are you doing? Looks like Genevieve is taking advantage of the balcony. We've never thrown a party out here. I feel like we need to throw some sort of party to enjoy that balcony. It is a little sad. It seems like she's kind of like let a lot of those hobbies and passions from her childhood go as she's gotten older, which I think makes sense and will also make sense why she has her little midlife crisis when she becomes an adult, which will be in 17 days. So she's got a while to be in this career, actually. Anything else you need to get ready before work, Amethyst? Anything? She's even thinking about babies. Oh my gosh, Amethyst. Aw, Kat got up on the bed with Theo. I think Theo and Kat are gonna be fast friends. What, does Theo have a job? Theo doesn't have a job. I'm gonna have him get a job because he was a personal trainer. And now that he moved in, for some reason, the Sims took that career away from him. So I'm gonna sign him back up for that. Similar to Skylar, he's gonna get along with Skylar so well. He's gonna be like, oh my gosh, your mom is the famous soccer player, Skylar Barry. He's like, I should have known from the last name Barry. Oh, modify career outfit, actually. That's so cool. I wanna do that. I wanna make her look all purple. Is there a purple version? There's not a purple version. No, what about in the pants? No, there's a teal though. The teal's kind of cute. We'll get her some purple shoes. Perfect. But look how nice. I like this outfit better. Check the ears. Swab for sample. We're gonna be here with Riley Aikida. Be like, hello, Riley. How are you feeling today? Whoa, the light shines out the other side of their ear. I've never noticed that before. Everything still seems like over our head. I'm just so confused. We're walking this poor patient to the x-ray machine. We're feeling good. Mai is calling. You won't believe it. Kyrene Lai is such a sweetheart. I'm in love. Great. Are you engaged? What is going on with your love life? You're so confusing. Oh, Skylar called. I heard that you got engaged. Congratulations. I'm so excited for you and Theo. Did you get my voicemail that I left you because you were too tired? and sleepy to pick up the phone when I got engaged, mom. Nah, it's all good, I understand. Moms don't stay up that late. My mom doesn't stay up that late either. All right, so we did that. Wait a second. Okay, we're gonna scan this patient's body, but then I think we can actually treat these patients. Can we not treat this patient? Treat patient. <gasps> we can treat these patients that are already done. Oh my gosh. Yo, look at that. Oh my gosh, we might get our promotion today from treating these patients. We're gonna do this one last little thingamabob. We're going to scan this patient's body. Great, okay, go treat him. Go treat him before someone else does. We're gonna successfully treat three patients today and we are getting that promotion from a medical assistant to a doctor. Yes, patient cured, we did it. Medical technologist will be our next one. So we treated one of three patients. I should have known all the time that we can treat the patients. We just can't give the patient the diagnosis. All right, all right. Yes, we did it. Oh my gosh, heck yes. This is going so well. We are going to get our promotion today. The end, transfer the patient case. 
That's fine. We're gonna transfer it to Carla. Another Kiyoshi? Did I just point that out last time? I don't remember. So we're gonna go practice analysis. Oh yeah, baby. I feel it. Today is the day. Dad would be so proud. I'm kind of sad that they fell out of touch when she got older. But you know, he was raising his own kids at home. He had like toddlers. It, it makes sense. It's just a little bit of a disappointing situation. So we're doing a bit of research of health reports. She's got to keep up to date on all the recent health findings of the community. Ooh, and she's super focused. She's on top of it. Oh my gosh, Carla just aged up. Literally right next to us. Happy birthday, Carla. Let's introduce ourselves to Carla and say happy birthday. We've been working together for a while. We haven't actually introduced ourselves. Hello, Carla. It's nice to meet you. Do we know anyone here? Hanakato? Oh my gosh, there's so many people. Oh my goodness, everyone looks really ill. We need to get these patients into some bed. Stop chatting with Carla. Although they're pretty good friends now. She's like a mentor to her. Aww. But we're gonna grab a patient and say, Hana, Kato, come on down with me. We're going to check your ears. We're boogieing in between. So cute. We're gonna swab. Come on. We need a gold, baby. Gold! We're so close. We just need to discuss general health with an admitted patient. We'll admit, Jocelyn. I like the kids. Plus, she's purple skin and that reminds me of summer. What's going on with you? I got you some food, Jocelyn. You'll be feeling better in no time. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Amethyst has been promoted to medical technologist. She will now make an additional 14 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 49 simoleons per hour. Heck yeah, heck yeah. She also has received the following bonus, new clothes, defeat the darkness surgical light. Medical treadmills can now be used to further examine patients' condition. And my next shift is Friday, which is I think tomorrow. So we actually don't have a day off. I don't think she's ever had a day off. She's got Friday and then she has a day off on Saturday. Okay, and we need to successfully diagnose and treat a patient. Make joke about marriage. Oh, so cute. She's gonna be like, ah, we getting married? Are we getting married? I think we're getting married. She's gonna grab some leftovers and he is going to find a job. He's so happy because he's engaged to her. I wish there was like a personal trainer as an option. Cause he was labeled as one before. But it's fine. We'll just put him in the athlete career. You know, he's a water person. I'm gonna just say he owns the gym. My thought process is that whenever Amethyst decides to move and she wants to do a different career, Theo's not gonna feel comfortable moving with her because he's the owner of the gym and he needs to be here for his work. Amethyst is absolutely trashed after work. She's like, I'm gonna go up to bed. As usual, our roommates are not home. They are in fact never home. Little Cat Berry is just chilling and then he's gonna get some hygiene. He wants to go on two dates. Wait, I forgot that his goal is to have a soulmate. He wants to go on dates. That's very sweet. They should go on some dates. I love that she's just gaming. Oh yes, always be skill building queen. Yes, 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 yes. For Plum Gen, we need to master dance and two other skills of your choosing. So I'm assuming we'll just do cooking and charisma as the two other skills. And then we need at least a level eight and six skills. She needs to keep gaming. We need two more skills to get up to level six or level eight actually. Excellent. She mastered the next level of her skill. So she's gonna go lay down. Theo, why aren't you sleeping in the bed. Is she gonna game again? No, why don't you game? Go downstairs and play video games with your brothers. Play My Sims Racing with Sterling, Ash, and Cordell. I love that she, that's like how she bonds with them. She doesn't really get to see them a lot, but she plays video games with them. Oh my gosh, and look at Cat Berry sleeping. <laughs> That's pretty much how it is for me. When I'm at home playing video games or like watching TV, my dog sleeps like that next to me with the belly in the air and the paws. Okay, Amethyst demolished the competition. Ooh, good job, Amethyst. She's working out now. Why don't you practice your speeches in the mirror? She's feeling super energized because she beat her brothers at racing. You might have to get out. Nope, she does not have to get out. Apparently he will pee while she's practicing her speeches in the bathroom. He does not care. Oh, he's praising Kat. Oh, he and Kat should be besties. Kat and Theo just became friends. Oh, so sweet. Look at this nice little family. Oh, Theo gave her a little kiss. He's flirting with her. That's so sweet. I love them. He's so proud of her. They're having a nice cup of tea in the morning together. How cute is this with Kat? Oh, what? We 
have work already? I meant to sleep. Oh shoot, maybe we'll have to get a coffee when we're at work. We gotta keep working for that promotion though. Hello, let's have like a nice introduction to Rokio. I don't think we've ever met Rokio in person. So there you go, now they're quite good friends. Okay, so we need to swab for sample. Okay, a viable tissue sample is successfully collected from Dave Barry. Is he related to us? Kelsey Barry, there's a Kelsey Barry? Excuse me, weak diagnosis available. Okay, we are getting there. She's like leveled up. She's have these treadmill tests now. They were inconclusive. We'd have to test again to get more data. Discuss his general health. Decent diagnosis chance. Ooh, do we know? Compelling diagnosis. <gasps> we have our first diagnosis. Are you kidding me? Gas and giggles. Look at us go. Amethyst. Okay, we're gonna treat him. Prescribe medication for gas and giggles. Flippin' nailed it already. Flipping nailed it. You're welcome, sir. You're cured. Let's go into Ava and Peachishme. Let's check your ears. How you doing, darling? I know it's been a rough day. Maybe let's do an x-ray scan. I don't know why you would x-ray her immediately. Maybe she has a broken bone though. Who knows? Maybe we'll find out something. Oh my God, we're so tired. We're probably gonna pass out. Is there coffee here? This poor little girl. She looks so worried and scared in this big contraption. I feel really bad for putting her in there. We'll get you well again soon, I promise. We're gonna go brew some coffee. We'll be right with you though. We got our coffee. We're drinking it. Hopefully that's gonna help. Let's diagnose this patient. We got a, a successful diagnosis. Excellent. All right, she is sick. Sorry, darling, you have starry eyes. So we can officially diagnose you, poor baby. And we are gonna treat you as well. Oh my gosh, we are actually nailing this. No, don't pass out. Don't pass out, I'm sorry, Amethyst. Oh God. Oh, this is just like Grey's Anatomy. When they work too hard, they work too many shifts. And now Yuka is singing. She's like, nothing to see here, children. This is totally normal at the hospital. Fiddle. Way to keep the patients calm, Yuka. While well, I took a little cat nap. I'm all good though. I'm going to be giving uh, Ava and Peachishme her medicine. Apparently we're going to get more coffee. She's dying inside. I feel like this moment right here is probably very relatable to a lot of people. Me included when I used to work at an office. I definitely remember feeling like this and going to get a cup of coffee. It's also winter. Look at it outside. It's so cold. Hopefully this will this will help her. I don't think I think that really helped at all. But luckily we did enough work today that we don't need to keep working. Woohoo! She did a fantastic job today! Yes! I think we only have one more day until we can reach our potential and get promoted again. I'm gonna hope. I'm gonna pray. Oh, Theo did a good job at work today too. Good job, Theo. Meanwhile, Amethyst, as usual, immediately going to bed, immediately sleeping. It kind of feels like they're not really spending that much time together. They're spending almost less time together than they had when they were dating because they're both at their jobs and then she comes home wanting to sleep after work. They're not even married yet and already we see the cracks are forming in the foundation. Theo is excellent water person. I think he's gonna get a promotion soon. He's gonna do his workouts for today. You know what, tomorrow we don't have work. Does he have work tomorrow? He doesn't either. We'll go on a date tomorrow and maybe we can work on some of her skills as well too. We could like work on finishing up charisma. Maybe they could cook together. We also need to pick another skill, possibly photography. I don't know what else she'd be into, but we need to get one more skill. That's for sure. Aw, they're both asleep. And here's Cat Berry chilling on the couch. Ooh, and Amethyst is up. It is 11 p.m. No wonder they don't get to hang out her sleep schedule is really messed up. She woke up like before midnight. That's not good, Amethyst. But okay, she's gonna eat and then maybe we'll work on our gaming with our brothers again. I thought our brothers would be preteens by now, but they're still kids. Amethyst just couldn't pull it together for the win this time. Aw, how is she with gaming? She's still level five. I guess she'll have to game on her own. And then we're also going to practice her speeches. Wow, Amethyst really can do it all. She is a doctor. She is charismatic. She's an excellent cook. She's a master at dancing. She's super fit. She really is the full package. Oh wait, look, today is uh, New Year's Eve. Finish that charisma, lady. I don't know why this charisma is taking so flippin' long, but it really is. Oh, we're confident. Hopefully it'll start coming closer now. Okay, we're at 85. 86, you know, the perfect day to work on your confidence is New Year's Eve. New Year, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot that they had earthquakes. It's been that long since we've done that. Boom, smooth.
food talker. She reached max level in charisma skills. Good job, Amethyst. That's my girl, our first level 10 skill. So proud of you, sweetie. She's gonna dance battle Theo outside. They're gonna have some fun because they haven't gotten to like spend quality time together. So they're gonna get in the party spirit for New Year's Eve. They're gonna have a little dance battle outside. Here we are. Oh, look at her go. She is super impressive with these dance moves. Dang, Amethyst, showing off those power moves. And there he goes, Theo Paris also knows how to make a move. She's feeling utterly enamored with him and she likes the music too. And she likes how well it's decorated. Thank you, Sim. I agree. I think it's also very well decorated. Can I use your place to get ready? Yeah, you can, but also you live here. It's your place too. I don't know why it glitched and did that, but come on in, come dance with us. Oh my God, they're flirting. They're so funny. Look at the mountains and the city and the snow. Awkward encounter. Were you flirting with Genevieve? No, I think it's just Genevieve's like, this is awkward. You keep kind of flirting with your fiance. Feel kind of like the third wheel right now. All right. Well, why don't you make like a nice meal for everybody? It's like a baked chocolate mousse. That could be kind of fun. Maybe we'll make a family size so that we just all get a little chocolate mousse. Then we can make a couple desserts and things like that. Like a photo of mom. Oh, maybe we will go back to see Skylar tomorrow for New Year's Day. Enjoy family movie night. We don't have anything else to do, I suppose, except for work on our skills. Always be skill building. Look at that. So nice. Let's do chocolate scones. That sounds super good. Go join her cooking, Theo. He's chatting with the cat and doing some chess. Well, nope. She did it too quickly. Oh, but she's almost level 10. Oh my gosh, that happened so fast. All right, let's do it again. Third time. What should we cook? I feel like a taco casserole would be a good one. So she's going to make that. I think he's going to join her this time. Go join her cooking. I guess he's kind of helping. I don't think he's really helping that all that much. Oh, maybe he should make some resolutions. What should be his resolution? Probably get promoted would be his. She's also going to say a get promoted. That's also going to be hers. So far, their New Year's is going pretty well. And what's that? Amethyst reached cookie level 10. Woohoo! Okay, so we have our two level 10 gills. Why don't you grab like a serving of the fish? So she's level 10 on two skills, and then she's level eight on one, two, three, four. So we need two more. So we need to keep hustling on gaming. That'll be like her new thing. Thing. that maybe the reason she got into gaming is because it's like a really good mindless activity to do after work when she's stressed and things like that. Ooh, Skylar's calling. Hey, honey, it's mom. When are you going to come visit? Oh, I'm going to visit you tomorrow, okay? I'm sorry I haven't visited. And I'll even bring my fiance who you technically haven't met yet. Oh my gosh. We've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. I don't know who's going to have the baby, but yeah, you should try for that baby. All right, I think, yes, we're going to do it. Thanks for the advice. We're having a baby. Oh my gosh, her moms are having a baby. I'm excited to see if one of them's pregnant when I go and see them tomorrow. She's exhausted. So she's gonna maybe go take a disco nap and then he's gonna ask you on a date. She's gonna pass out though. Poor Amethyst is just so not on top of things. He's actually gonna sleep too. Oh, she fell asleep on his side of the bed. They're both gonna nap on each other's side of the bed. Oh, that's cute. They're facing each other. Look at that. Oh my gosh, but it's 7 p.m. I guess the date should be at the house. Let's ask Amethyst on a date and we're just gonna have the date at the house. It'll be on New Year's Eve date. Come socialize, come caress her cheek, share her, your resolution with her, enthuse about the wedding. Theo, put your book away. It's not even your book. You took it out of the roommate's room that's never here. He's gonna flirt. She's gonna serenade him. Look how cute she's serenading him with her terrible voice. Do a little New Year's Eve toast, embrace her. Oh, they wanna listen to music together. Listen to hip hop together. Oh, they did a little cheers with their drinks. They're gonna go outside and listen together. Having a nice little New Year's date. They needed some quality time. And then she's gonna caress his cheek. They're gonna get flirty together. Oh my goodness, he's kissing her neck. I didn't even ask him to do that. Look at them. They are so cute. That would be funny if they impulsively just eloped. I'm pretty sure mom would be mad if they like impulsively eloped one day and she didn't even invite the family. Family, but I could totally see them just eloping. I want their date to go well. So far, the date is not going quite well. Why aren't you getting flirty, Amethyst? There she goes. Okay, why doesn't that count? Because he's already flirty. All right, there they are. Kiss your date. They have the beautiful view of the sea. 
city. Oh, so romantic. Give your date a massage. I feel like he would definitely give her a massage. Oh, they went downstairs, probably so that they could watch the New Year's Eve TV together. Woohoo with your date. I want them to woohoo and I want them to have a baby, but I also don't know if I want them to have a baby like right now. What if they just tried for a baby? It just feels so early to have another gen in. I mean, what if they just tried for a baby and then, you know, whatever happens, happens. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? They're not even married. Oh my gosh. Amethyst. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Amethyst. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we might be having next gen. They might be conceiving next gen as we speak. I don't know why I just did that. I'd have to take care of a baby. I don't know if I have it in me to take care of a baby right now. Oh my goodness. Maybe they did plan to be engaged for a while, but if they do get pregnant, then they're gonna like be like, oh no, we're gonna get married quicker. And it all just feels very fast. Oh my gosh, well. They woohooed. She's gonna use the restroom because she needs to. And then they're gonna go to bed. Oh, they missed the New Year's countdown because they were woohooing. That's all right. They had fun for New Year's, I think. I think their New Year's was decent. The date is complete. Yeah, their New Year's was both successful. Excellent. We may be pregnant. Oh my God, what am I doing? It's Sunday, they're gonna sleep in. Oh, it's spring. It's family movie night too. Yeah, so we're probably gonna go over for family movie night tonight. It is only 7 a.m. though. I love how she made all that food intending to invite people over and then they ended up just having their own little night in date. But now they have a ton of food, so that's good. Oh, that'll be fun though. When she goes home, she can play video games with the boys. Share family movie night spirit. That's perfect. She can be like, actually it's family movie night with my family. If you want to come with me, I'm gonna go home. You know, my mom is getting older. He's like, yeah. Oh, she's thinking about her little brother. Well, we're gonna go see him soon. And she acquired the gourmet cooking skill. Okay, good for you, Amethyst. Always skill building. It's gonna go play some games, get better at her skill, level up. Oh my God, she's definitely pregnant. She, oh no, she thought of a baby bottle. I really thought like maybe she won't have gotten pregnant and it's fine. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think. I've decided not to cheat this round of the air. So whatever gender the baby is, is the gender of the baby. So if it's a female again, we will have another female heir. If it's not, I'm gonna let it be a male heir. I know I did say I wanted all female heirs for the whole challenge, but I know a lot of you guys have been looking for a male heir and I just thought orange gen might be kind of fun with a male heir too because they're supposed to be kind of evil. Oh, Casey's calling. I'm delighted you recommended I spend some time with Caitlyn. I was amused the whole entire time. Are you pregnant though? Are you pregnant though, mom? Festival of Youth has started back at home in Mount Comoraby. We're level six of gaming. Yes, so we just need two more levels to get to level eight and then we need to pick one more skill. I love that he's chatting with her while she's games. Oh, such sweeties. Oh, and someone's calling him. Hey, Theo. I think I have a crush on Jacob Otta. Do you think it's worth a guy? Yes, go for it. Genevieve called Theo. I love that. I oftentimes ask my friends like male significant others for male dating advice. <laughs> So this is like dead on. Yes, go for it. Like they're a friend squad. It's not just her friend Genevieve. It's his friend Genevieve too. That's gonna make the divorce even harder. Look at him learning dance for her. I like the idea that he's learning dance to like make her happy. Oh my gosh, Theo learned dancing level two. Good job, Theo. Let's travel together with Theo. Come on, Theo. Let's go to mom's. Mom and mom's house. First trip as an engaged couple back to the fam. I want to see if they're pregnant. Oh my gosh, are they pregnant? Are they pregnant? <laughs> Knock on the door. If Casey's pregnant, I'm gonna be so happy. Go, 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 go. Mom, I'm home. Oh my God, they'd be pregnant at the same time. Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? Are you having a baby? Oh, they're not pregnant. Okay. What about you? Are you pregnant? Nope. Neither of them are pregnant. They called about having a baby. Look at the boys. They're both children. Look at our, st we're holding our stomach. Oh my gosh, we know, we know. And look at our mom. Oh, Skylar now has fully gray hair. Announce engagement. Yeah, go in and tell your mom, Theo, you should introduce yourself. Respectful introduction would be a good one. And then maybe like a funny introduction for the boys. She's like, I'm engaged, mom. And then he's like, hello. Oh, Amethyst can't wait to tell everyone about our engagement. Oh my gosh. Hey, what's up, Amethyst? One of my friends has heard how great you are and has been asking for your number. No, I'm engaged. All right, everybody grab a serving together and let's watch a movie. Let's watch The Clumsy Sisters with everybody. Oh my gosh, Amethyst grabbed her popcorn as she always did before. And she's sitting down to watch the movie. I wish everyone else would sit down too. Please sit down, please. Everybody watch the movie. Jordan's here. Oh, look at them all. I can't believe. 
time that they're all watching movie night together. Why are you crying, Amethyst? I think she's just so happy. Look at these two. Oh, I'm glad that we got the picture before mom aged up. When are these kids gonna age up though? I swear. Okay, like tomorrow. Oh wait, oh my God, I think he just did. I think he literally just aged up. Where's my kid brother? I think he's a preteen now. Oh my God, there he is. He is a preteen now. Oh my God, we came over for the boys' birthdays too. Look, it's Ash. Oh my gosh, we have to give them both makeovers. Wait, oh my God, Sterling just aged up too. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday, boys. I'm so happy. Look at Sterling. Okay, we need to modify them. We need to give them both makeovers. Look at them. They kind of look like dad. Ash was the nerdy one, if I'm remembering correctly. We need to give them like kind of softer features because they don't look like teens that much at all. Your hair, maybe a little bit more, yeah. And then you had glasses, I believe. I actually like these. These like give me intense like anime vibes. This looks like a dad. You know what? I think that one works. Okay, so this is Ash and then Sterling. Sterling, I think I wanted him to have longer hair. Sterling's gonna be like the one with the hat. Oh yeah, he had like something like this and then his hair was long for his outfit. I feel like there was a styled look that I really liked. Okay, this looks like Sterling, but maybe just without the sunglasses and add a baseball cap. And that looks like him. Yeah, okay, so this is Sterling and this is Ash. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, they're so cute. The boys are preteens and everyone has met the fiance and they're amazing not be an accidental baby on the way. But I'm going to leave this one right here, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see the pregnancy, whether or not it's actually here in the next episode. And until then, guys, I'll see you around very soon.